With the NBA trade deadline over a week away, the Sixers have to start looking at possible trades to acquire a player to help them for their playoff run. In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the potential trade targets the Sixers may go after at the deadline, and talk about some of the pros and cons about trading for those guys. Make sure to subscribe if you love all things Philly sports, and enjoy the video. First target I want to talk about is Alex Caruso. Caruso is having a solid year with the Chicago Bulls, with his defense being terrific like always, as well as his three-point shot being the best it's been since 2018. He's shooting almost 42% from three, and his field goal percentage is creeping back up to 50%. His points per game is up to 10.1, which is the best of his seven-year career so far. The Sixers need another shooting guard, with Maxi at the point and also taking a lot of shots, it would be nice to take some pressure off of him in the shooting department. Caruso is a perfect fit as he can slot in at the 2, next to Maxi, and keep a guy like DeAnthony Melton as the 6th man. Alex Caruso's defense is also a great fit for the Sixers, as he is coming off an all-defensive first team from last season. He has kept up that good defense this year, and is potentially in the running for Defensive Player of the Year. I don't see why anybody wouldn't want Alex Caruso, as he can perfectly benefit the Sixers on both the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball. This next target has Philly bringing back our old friend TJ McConnell. McConnell has been thought of as a trade target around the league, and the Sixers would be a solid fit for him. They need shooters, especially shooting guards, and that's what TJ McConnell can give them. He already knows the city and has had success here as a bench player, so I'm sure you wouldn't mind joining them again for the playoff run. The Pacers are a very good basketball team, so they won't be giving away players, but McConnell is someone they may want to get rid of depending on the price. I would not be opposed to seeing TJ McConnell back in a Sixers uniform. The next guy on our list is Malcolm Brogdon from the Trailblazers. Also manning the shooting guard position, like the rest of the guys on this list, Brogdon is scoring a solid 16 points per game with 5.5 assists per game. He won't be as high usage as a guy like Caruso would be, but he will definitely get his fair share of minutes. At this point in his career, Brogdon isn't the same kind of scorer he once was, but he is still an underrated playmaker. He can be very efficient on the offensive side of the ball. If the Sixers can make a trade for Brogdon, it remains uncertain if he would come off the bench or be a starter. Bogdan Bogdanovich is the next player I want to mention, as he would be a solid guy to go after. In 44 games this season, Bogdan is averaging 17 points per game, and with only 6 games started, he's likely going to become a high scorer off the bench for the Sixers. After finally having a good bench this year, the Sixers wouldn't mind adding a guy like Bogdanovich to the mix, as he will make the Sixers bench a scary one for the playoffs. They would love extra depth, and if they want to be teams like Boston or Milwaukee, adding Bogdanovich via trade may be a viable option. Nets forward Dorian Finney-Smith will likely be available at the deadline and I don't see why the Sixers shouldn't go after him. He is a very strong defender and does a good job shooting the ball. He can help the team on both ends of the floor and already has some playoff experience, mostly in the Mavericks Western Conference final run a couple years ago. He played a solid role in those playoffs, so maybe he can recapture some of those things during the playoffs with the Sixers. I wouldn't want their only move to be Finney-Smith, but he would be a good depth option coming off the bench that can help both offensively and defensively, so I don't see why they shouldn't trade for him. Make sure to like the video if you like the trade targets I talked about in this video, and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all things Philly sports. We're about a week away until the NBA trade deadline, but if you guys want, I can make a part 2 to this video with more trade targets. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Depending on who the Sixers get, I will be posting another Sixers video talking about the trade. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.